Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to compare linear switches versus tactile switches. So the biggest difference between linear and a tactile switch is the way they sound and the way they feel. A tactile switch feels like it has a bump in it. Like there's a bump in it. You can feel it. Whereas linear switches, however, is completely smooth. We can do it by comparing when we push the switches to switches. In this scenario, you will see that the tactile is like, it will just push it in. The difference can be easily heard once you put on the keycaps. Now, I may sound like a nerd, but the same switches will sound differently on a different material of the keyboard. I have another keyboard right here. This is the Percent Kanoe 65% layout. These are also tactile switch, but they sound really different. I, I will do a separate video on this one. Just in case if you guys are wondering how do I get keycaps like this, there's a good chance that you might be able to grab a pair of GMK only. Is it a sponsor? It's not even a sponsor because I'm part of the design of this keycaps. <laughs> Sorry for being a sellout for a moment, but I just want to promote my new GMK set, GMK only. The group buy for GMK Oni is officially live right now. However, we prepare a special thing for the first day buyer. You can use code 5EONL to get yourself $5 off from TX, which is one of the vendor. And you can enter a giveaway for the one in the world artisan. TX keyboards will be the vendor for USA. Desk will be the vendor for Canada. Daily Clack for Australia. My keyboard for Europe. And last but not least, I love my keyboard for Asia. There will be a lot of different kits not kit for you to pick up based on how your keyboard layout looks like but if you're asking me which is my favorite one in the GMK only set I gotta say the OO set is probably the best one just because Ooh. but yeah enough the setup tactile vs linear let's get right into it I think the most direct comparison is to play the same beat map no I can't do a film like Okay, I somehow did it. That was the hardest thing, like many years ago, for me. <laughs> okay, let's see how we perform. Alright, uh, first try. A rank, 92.95 accuracy. Two misses, 250. 179 combo. Now we'll do the same test. With a different keyboard. And we'll see how we perform. Mm. Beside that one X, I feel like it's pretty much the same. Hmm. Okay, I missed the last one. <laughs> okay, let's see how we put Wait. <laughs> How did I get the same 2x and 250? The reason I got a higher accuracy and higher combo is because this is my second time playing it, right? In my mind, I somehow got the muscle memory on how to jump and where the notes are coming from. So, I gotta be fair. Next test, I'm gonna do tactile switches first, then linear. Now, since this beat map is a bit long, we gotta calculate like this. The moment I miss a note, that will be my stop point. Okay, I miss right here. Let's see the score. 473083. We'll do this one and let's see if I if I perform worse. Are you serious? Are you actually <laughs> I am so bad. <laughs> Hold on. Um, one more try, okay? One more try. I don't know why, I feel like I hit more 150 with this 
linear switches. Uh, let's just do one last test to see how it performed. Okay, 2 million and 73k. Accuracy 95.25. Let's do tactile switch and we'll compare it again. I This is not even fair because my aim is terrible for the final test. Autopilot mode. Autopilot does not require aim at all. Although in this video, I found out that I actually perform slightly better with tactile switches, but I still feel like it's all because of the switches spring weight. 80 gram and 67 gram spring weight are very different. Maybe in the future I'll do another test, linear VS tactile, but with the same spring weight. But yeah, in today's video, I found out that I perform slightly better with tactile switches. If you are using a linear and you are trying to get a tactile switch just to you know get better in Osu, I don't really recommend it. Everyone is different. Each and every single one of you are unique. Do not just blindly follow others. You know, you gotta have your own style, you know, your own preference, your own taste. It's like how we probably have different waifu as well. That's pretty much the same concept here. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something new in this video. If you do, make sure to drop a like, comment down below. What is your favorite switch? Do you guys use the linear? Do you guys use the tactile? Or perhaps you even use the clicky switches. Subscribe if you are still new to the channel. I upload all kinds of content. It's not only Osu. Once again, GMK only is life. I'll see you guys in the next video.